Breaking news into CBS Sports HQ. Lakers forward LeBron James likely to miss multiple weeks due to a right foot injury. This confirmed by our Bill Ryder. The 20-year veteran suffered the injury during Sunday's comeback win against the Mavericks. Managed to finish that game. Los Angeles currently the 12th seed in the Western Conference. Let's get some insight from HQ NBA analyst Avery Johnson and Avery talk about going from highs to lows their biggest win of the season on Sunday rallying from 27 down to beat the Mavs this is a team that without LeBron James this season Avery five and nine since he joined the Lakers 36 and 62 talk about how this will impact this team moving forward well a significant impact for the Lakers especially you're coming off of a game when you're down 27 points and you come back and squeak out a win on the road uh, against the Dallas Mavericks, who they were going to be vying for with that 6 7 8 seed. So, the LeBron to be out, miss some time, significant time, if you're talking about weeks, not just a game, uh, that's going to have a huge impact on the team. Anthony Davis is going to have to play like an MVP candidate, which he's capable of if he can stay healthy. Uh, D'Angelo Russell didn't play on on Sunday, who's projected to be their consistent starting uh, point guard after being tr traded from mi Minnesota. So again, when you look at LeBron, you lose so much. You lose the defense, the wisdom, high basketball IQ, blocks from behind, as you saw in that highlight. Uh, but they, they have a capable team with some guys that came over in the trade, Hachimura, who came over from Washington, uh, he's capable. Uh, but it's, it, it just depends on how long LeBron's going to be out. But this is definitely going to hurt their chances to even make it into the play-in game. they got to play some all-out efficient basketball yeah. on both ends of the floor. Hey, Avery, you've coached in this league, so I'm curious about what the coach's message would be to a team that has six teams to jump to get to the playoffs and two teams to jump just to get into the play in. There's plenty of basketball still left to be played. What would the message to this Lakers team be without now LeBron James? It has to be small group messaging. Uh, you can't talk about, you know, we have 22 games left or 20 games left. Uh, let's try to go 16 and six. No, it's really one game at a time or little two game uh, segments to try to keep your team focused on the here and now. And it's the next man up, Lonnie Walker, the fourth, who only played six minutes against the Mavericks. He's he's started for the Lakers. He's got to step up. But the Lakers, I'll give them credit. With all of these trades, they're not nearly as a distracted team as they were early in the year when they were wondering about Patrick Beverly and Russell Westbrook. This team seems to have better chemistry to try to overcome um, LeBron's injury probably have to slow the game down a little bit. The Lakers like to run, slow it down a little bit, reduce some of the possessions, uh, and and win it with your defense. You know, Avery, you touched on AD. He was terrific on Sunday, 30 points, 15 rebounds. He really played his best basketball of the season during a stretch when LeBron was out earlier this year before AD himself got injured. Are you expecting him to carry the load and kind of keep this team afloat for a shot should LeBron James make it back down for the stretch drive of the season? When you've won a championship, you one of the top two highest paid players on the team. That's what the expectation is. Do your job, star in your role. Anthony Davis' role right now is to basically get 35, maybe 40 points a night and really lead this team offensively, which is then going to open up some double teams and open shots for his teammates. So he's very capable of it. But the big if <laughs> with both the I and the F capitalized is can he stay healthy? He's been a guy that's been hobbled in and out of the lineup they can keep him healthy on the floor, then they'll have an excellent chance to continue to win. Now, you already touched on this. This is a team that has a lot of newcomers joining the fray. They're 29 and 32 with this news of LeBron James being out for an extended period of time. As it is, knowing the teams they have to jump to get into the play-in, knowing the teams they have to jump to get into the playoffs, is this going to be a playoff season for the Los Angeles Lakers? I still believe they're a play-in team. Uh, with LeBron James, 
I thought they were going to catapult some of those teams that's in front of them that has that two-game advantage. And with what I saw on Sunday, especially that team in the second half, they look like a top four or five seed in the Western Conference, a team that's capable of beating anybody if LeBron James is healthy. But without LeBron James, I still believe they'll get by certain teams like Portland, maybe Utah, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, and make it into the play. And they'll be one of the 10 teams to make it. And then we'll see if LeBron James is healthy come playoff time. Uh, certainly a long road ahead for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's CBS NBA analyst Avery Johnson. Avery, we appreciate the insight. No problem. Again, LeBron James expected to miss multiple weeks with that right foot injury, and this is what the schedule looks like for the next eight uh, for those Los Angeles Lakers. Sands LeBron, it begins Tuesday at Ja and the Memphis Grizzlies. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.